If you're growing herbs, you have got to make this omelet. This overstuffed herb omelet has all things green in it and it's delicious. You saute a few leeks, some garlic with the best spices of cumin and turmeric, and then you just chop up a ton of parsley, cilantro, dill, yeah, a lot. Put that all together with the eggs, bake it off, let it puff up, slice it. It is a mean green omelet, but it's absolutely delicious, full of flavor, and it's all coming up on today's Wise Guide. I love a good omelet, but even more so, I love using my herbs. And I think we as Americans have this thing with herbs. We like to sprinkle them on the top. In the 80s and 90s, we like to put a little piece of parsley on the side of like every plate at every restaurant and it just sat there and what do you do with it? But every time we use them, we just use a little bit. But why is that? In other countries, they use copious amounts of herbs and they're delicious. This is a riff on a Persian omelet. And that just means that it has a ton of herbs in it. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's healthy, but more so it tastes great. So I'm using some of my favorite herbs I have a lot of in the garden. Flat leaf parsley, cilantro, and then I'm using some dill. This mixture is definitely a little bit more traditional for these omelets, but you can play around and use whatever herbs you want to use. To get started, it couldn't be any easier. Just dice up some leek. The reason I like to use leek is it has a little bit lighter flavor than onion, isn't quite so astringent. You can buy them cleaned and trimmed already, or you can do that yourself. They usually are growing in sandy soil, so you really need to rinse the little bits well to make sure there's no sand in there. Once it's diced up, you can just add some olive oil to a heated skillet on the stove. Add a good amount of olive oil, because this is also gonna help the omelet too. Add your leeks and saute them up until they are slowly becoming translucent, but not browning. When they brown, it does add good flavor, but sometimes it can also get kind of bitter and have a little bit of off flavor. So I like just to make sure they're translucent, which means they're gonna be softer. Once they're soft, you can just add up some minced garlic. That's really gonna get fragrant. Just let that cook for about 30 seconds because garlic burns extremely quickly. Then add some salt and pepper. Always need some salt and pepper. I just keep it on the stove, have it close by. Then add a little bit of cumin. That's really gonna bring out some great flavor. And a little bit of turmeric. These are some really traditional spices, but they're also just some of my favorites, so. Stir that in, let them bloom a little bit, get fragrant. Then pull that skillet off the heat and let it cool. While that's cooling, you can just get ready all of your herbs. Yeah, it's a lot of herbs. Chop up the leaves of the parsley. The leaves are on the top end. You don't really wanna use the stems in this case. Sometimes I do, but for this, I want mostly the leaves. Chop them up coarsely and add them to a food processor. Do the same to your cilantro. Kind of pack it in there. It's gonna look like a lot, but pack it in. That's gonna help it work down quicker. And then your dill. We're not using as much dill because, well, dill can be overpowering, so you don't need as much. Once that's all in there, I like to zest a lemon and put that in there. That really brightens the flavor, adds a great citrus note and kind of just wakes up everything. And then juice the lemon right into the herbs. Pulse that together in about five second increments until it starts breaking down. Every so often you'll have to take the lid off, pack it down just to make sure it's working in. The herbs are so light and airy that they don't always work into the blade as quick. But once they do, they'll start turning around and then they'll chop up into even pieces. When they're at a nice finely chopped consistency, you can move on to your eggs. For the eggs, just make sure to use a good egg. You want a really bright yellow yolk. You want them to be as fresh as they can be. I mean, okay, you can't always have a fresh egg, but a well-raised egg you can totally pick. Crack them right into a bowl and then whisk them up until they're combined. Make sure to break up all the yolks and the whites. Once those are all mixed together, you can just chop up some scallions. I do the whites and the light green parts. I don't get to the very tip of the top of the dark greens because those can sometimes have an off flavor. Once those are all chopped up, you can just assemble everything. Add all your herbs to your eggs. Yes, it looks like a lot. This is truly green eggs. Just no ham. Then that leek and garlic and turmeric and cumin mixture. 
Then add some baking powder and then stir it all together. While you're stirring, you can just throw a cast iron pan or an oven safe skillet right into the oven. I really like to let them heat up. This is gonna help it cook quicker and cook evenly. Once that skillet's hot, pull it out and throw in the butter. This is for flavor. You could totally use olive oil. I just like the flavor it gives and a nice brown golden crust. Once that butter is melted and you're swirling it around, making sure to coat all the edges too because you don't want this to stick, you can pour in your eggs. This mixture smells so delicious at this point. Spread it out till it's even and then pop it right back in the oven. After a few minutes, it's gonna be puffed. The edges are gonna be golden brown. It's gonna be just set in the center and it's gonna smell amazing. Let it cool about five to 10 minutes. Then take it out of the pan, slice it and enjoy. This is the perfect item for brunch or a lunch. You can serve it with a side of fish if you want to or with whatever you want. I love this, how it is, because it's amazing. It's healthy, but it tastes great. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe. For the recipe, go to the description box. And for more great recipes, check out wiseguide.com. Until next time, get cracking with those eggs.